King Duke's Melody Band of Africa. Alright, so it's such an honor to be on set with the first man who started out his music career at 60. Keys the King. Duke Melody Band of Africa. Okay, thank you so much for being on set with us. It's such a privilege. I'm so glad I'm here with you today. Okay, so I have some series of questions for you. You know, starting out your music at 60 is a whole lot, you know. So I would love you to tell us a lot of stories. I have several questions, but I think I will just pick these beautiful ones, the most striking ones for you. So, um, so first of all, how did your interest in music first begin and what inspired you to start pursuing it now at this age? Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, here is Kim Duke Melody Band of Africa, that man who have broken the record of joining music after 60 years. It's wonderful, it's so amazing. You know, I... I knew that sometime, someday I will gonna be in this position mm -hmm. because I can only get you know I can get man or I can now I can take my look. So my viewers, in fact, it's a great yeah. thing to hit the rock at sixty. Okay. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, but to God be the glory, to God be the glory. I had a passion of music, mm -hmm. right from my childhood. Okay. But I got nobody to, no papa, no mama to help me. Mm -hmm. But I keep on praying to God that God one day, my dream was come to pass. Mm -hmm. And today, God has done it. Okay. To God be the glory. Yeah. So your interest in music started at a very young age. Exactly. Right? All right. And then... You kept pushing out. Pushing and pushing. Alright. Okay, so were there any specific musicians or genres that influenced your decision to embark on this music journey? Like your role models, the people you looked up to? Yes. Right. I have someone I love so much. Kofiolumide of Zairoa. He's called Grand Mopao. <laughs> Mopao Mokonzi. He's the man I love so much. I remember about 30 years ago when I used to live in Congo, Kinshasa, mm -hmm. I always watch his show. Anywhere Kofi is playing music, I must make sure that I go to be there. <laughs> oh, wow. So I love him, I love his style. So I keep on watching him at 60 years, he keep on performing great things, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I look at his vision mm -hmm. towards music, in fact, it, he inspired me to follow him up oh, wow. That's beautiful. yes all right can you quickly express your feeling about yourself having your passion come to fruition at, at this age how do you feel like have you been laughed at have you been discouraged and all never not at all okay. not at all because i i feel happy when i remember that uh, i am now a star wow a big start, oh, age of 60 I'm years. I mean, I'm a star. I'm a so, you know, becoming a celebrity <laughs> at 60 years. I want to hear that. I want to hear that. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, how have you approached practicing music? What has been your um, activities towards getting perfected in your niche, in your um, genre, in your style of music? Yeah. You know, when I was a, a young guy, I always loved reggae music oh, really? and the high life. Those days, I love Osa Davis so much. Mm -hmm. And Kofi Olumi, that's a Makosa. Okay. You know, so I love watching and listening to the music. Mm -hmm. So but today, I now choose to you know, to play high life music mm. with gospel. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Have there been moments where you doubted yourself? 
No, 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 never, never, never. At this age, never, you never, never doubted yourself. Never, never. <laughs> really? I even I keep on getting more stronger. Wow. When I'm on the stage. Wow. Every young person needs to see you. <laughs> Every young person. Okay, okay. Now this question is about balancing your musical pursuit, right? With yeah. Every other activities you've been about your your business, your family. How has it been? How do you get to balance both? This aspect of life we um, in you know, fact, uh, and I'm a book of I join them together, I put them in one bag. In one bag, you can't my do business all and my business. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, I love investing in human capital. All right. That's why I join, I choose to join music so that I can use the music and the you know, touch life. I want to put life, light to young men and women. Mm -hmm. I want to show them that you can make it, wow. no matter your age. All right, that that is beautiful. So, considering both your age and responsibilities, you don't mind. You're just hitting it. And when he, that is it. Uh, no stopping you. No, 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 Interesting. So, uh, can you describe the type of music you enjoy creating the most? Yeah, I love Afrobeat right. and the High Life, okay. Makosa, which is, uh, you know, is French music. Oh, really? Yeah, I love it so much. Right. Okay, now this is very key. This next question. Oh, let me just let me just throw the question for some because I would love to know. Are there any artists, young or old, especially young? <laughs> Do you get inspired by young artists too? Yes. Okay, so are there any um, young artists who inspire your musical style or influence the direction you want to take? Yes, I, I build a, a, a one of the a young artists today. I set him up oh, wow. from grass to grace. His name is called Prince Oko Mama. Wow. And he, he inspires you. Yes. So I about twenty two years ago mm. I saw him when he came to my house. I said you're gonna be a star. Mm. I started building him up. Mm -hmm. He was the first person that I bought musical instruments to. Wow. And today he's a great artist. Wow. So somebody like a flavor. I wish one day I'm gonna play. Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's so beautiful. Yes. You love then, flavor song. Yes, flavor song. I love him. That's beautiful. And uh, my role model is Kofi Olumi, the the grandma power. The grandma power. You That's the man I love so much. Him. I love him so much. <laughs> All right. Because he built talent. Okay. You know. All right. Okay. Now, what achievements in your musical journey are you most proud of so far? Yeah, like now, most of my fans, they make me happy. Wow. Somebody called me the other day, say he was just watching my music. Mm. He could not sleep again. Wow. <laughs> he said he would love to be like this man at 60. Really? At 60? You know? Whoa. So when he <laughs> called me from the United States, I said, come on. Yeah. He said he loves what I'm doing. Can I give him I mean. my account? <laughs> And then wow. so I can send me something wow. to post myself. I said, What? So my handwork has given me a yeah. gift now. So yeah, with ego, take my company. Ego and my company. You know? So I do oh too much. Oh my god. Alright, that is beautiful. I'm inspired. I can't even lie. So do you have a uh, specific goals or milestones you would love to achieve in the near future with your music of course okay you... i want to hit the world wow. okay. i want to hit the world with your I want, style of yes. music i want the world to know me oh you guys music. you guys you guys need to hear his songs yeah, especially if yes. you're a high yeah. style lover right <laughs> i know yeah. but i feel like everyone will get to love her style um highlight one day no right? people love my music because of the man who Play the music. Oh wow! Because of the man who played the Not music. Not because of the music. Not because of the music. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Yes. The boldness is too much. 
Okay, mm, let me just calm down for this next question. <laughs> if you could give an advice to someone else who's considering pursuing their passion later in life, yeah, no matter how late it may be, what would it be? What would you tell them? Yes, I must say, I am an man. Did you hear that? I am a good market sell itself. Yeah. You don't need the advertisement mm. to sell your good product. Yeah. You know? When one buys it, it will go and campaign for you. Yeah. Advertise your product. Okay. I hear money wrong here. Oh, I am believer. Mm. And the same is believing. You know? But I believe in that the youths should wake up. Mm. Let them wake up. Mm. Both boys and girls. You know? Mm. Let them wake up. Even grown up men. Yeah. Because if you look at me, if I can make it at 60, I mean, I mean, if I can hit the wall at 60, then anybody can do that better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. When you're going to be here, you can't do it. Oh, yes. You're not going to be here. Okay, okay. Now, this question is an interesting one. How has this musical journey impacted your perspective about life and about age? In fact, uh, I don't have much to say. <laughs> That's they can go like say, I don't want to mm -hmm. When you look at me, you know that uh, there's something good coming out yeah. of me. Yeah. You know, it has a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. It makes me look more younger. Exactly, exactly. That's what visions make you yes. do. <laughs> You keep looking younger when you Every day. pursue And I believe that at my 100 years, I'm going to perform live on the stage. Come on. I haven't even thought about that right now. <laughs> That's what I'm wishing myself to. Oh, at wow. my 100 years, I'm going to, you're going to watch me on the stage. Really? International. Oh, wow. If you know. Christ stands, right? Because yeah. <laughs> Rapture is close, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you just say that. All right, but then, what can you also say about age? You know, young people, in fact, old people still have given up on their journey because of their age. You know, so what has this musical journey taught you about age now? Age is just a number. It's just, ah, I love those lines. Age, age is just, is just look at yourself in the mirror and say, age is just a number. <laughs> you can see, you, you can go around today, you see young boys, undergraduates, yeah. they are stranded. Mm. They, I said they got no sense because if you got sense, mm. like myself, I'm a child of nobody mm. from grass to grace. Mm. I was once a cattle rider. Mm. If you listen to my, uh, my story, my story yeah. is a track, you will understand who I am. Okay. I wasn't a child of nobody. I got no father, no mother. Yeah. But I keep on telling God that I'm it's going to be a great man. Going to do this. So the same you have that same opportunity. Mm. Everyone, even men at 60, mm. men at 70, yeah. men at 50, they should wake up. They should wake up. Get up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Wake up. up. And do something and do already. Something. Yes. Okay, so now um, this next question and then we'll be wrapping up. What do you envision for your music career in the next few years? Who would you love to collaborate with? Then how do you see your musical journey evolving as you continue to explore and as you continue to grow? Did you get that? Yeah. I said, how do you envision your musical career yeah. Yeah. in the next few years? Yeah. Then who would you love to collaborate with? Then thirdly, how do you see your journey Evolving as you keep growing in your pursuit in your musical dreams, yeah. Yeah, number one, I'm in the last five years mm -hmm. at my 60, 66. Okay, I want to be on top, yeah. I want to top the charts, yeah. I want to be, I want the world to recognize me oh, as the best. The highest. best. At High life king. That is so beautiful, man. <laughs> At 66, I want to tell the world that you can do it, you can make it. Yeah. 
So and I'm looking forward again to have a, a collaboration with uh, Kofi Olumide. Mm -hmm. Diamond from Tanzania. I wow. love them so much. You love him so much. Because they, yeah. Wow. They, when I watch them, what they are doing, how they, you know, how generous they are yeah. to people, to humanity. That's what I'm interested to okay. hit. Alright. Alright, so do you, do you think you're going to evolve? You're going to have another style of music as you grow and experience? Yes. Um, what I'm watching, I like, I want to make the world happy. I want to make people happy. Actually, me make and never never go angry. Sure, sure. When I sleep and wake up, mm. any message that comes to me, I follow it up. Yeah. If you watch my second album now, Wahala don't tear up. Trouble come bend my shoe. So that's why I want to make sure that I will give people what they love, what they will like, okay. something that will make them happy. You know, music is a part of life. Alright, that's, yes. that's true, that's true. So, as you keep growing, you're going to be more interested in what the people want and you're going to give them exactly. the style exactly. they want. Yes. And you can dish out excellent. Excellent. Wow, okay. Okay, King Duke, sir. <laughs> yes. Can you kindly list the um, your top three best songs and, you know, do a freestyle, run a freestyle for us? <laughs> I feel like that man we born six girls. Whenever he goes out with one, people will say, Ah, this your daughter is too beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what the man will tell them? He say, You are talking about the one you see, you have not seen the ones okay. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so my you know, all my tracks are wonderful, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, fantastic. The first, my first re release, in here I can amend the chineke he will see. Those that trust in the Lord can never put to shame. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's too sweet. Watch it. Go to my YouTube page, Kenduk Melody Band of Africa. Watch it. Watch what the man is doing. When I was riding bicycle, people were laughing at me, making jest of me. But one day, mm. I keep on trusting God. One day, God should <laughs> me his mercy yeah. and he over blessed me mm. so another track is amity friends international club this amity friends international club is a great club it's a great club we are philanthropists mm. we give out we reach out to people mm. so Nde Chi Meneze that is my latest hit now mm. Nde Chi Meneze a lot ago Come though the God <laughs> crown king they are now back. Yeah. Then another hit again is Owahala oh, don't tear up trouble come bend my shoe. Oh god. This if is you so watch this music, you will love me you will love me more. Okay. Yes. Okay, can we run the freestyle? Yes. Okay. Nde chimeneza biago. Nde chimeneza lotago. Uno dimba no bodo. Ndane ukuma kahaye, mukweni nyane meo, eke roreke, iroke gemano wake. Eja seza za, mba, anaka seza za, nobody can drag for a king. God gives king. Yeah. You know? And area kwa kwa nabia, when you chop money, money will come. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Chop money, money, money will come. Chop money today, yeah. guys. Chop money, money will come. Chop Give back Chop. people your money, you see how money will flow. <laughs> oh my god, that is so beautiful. Yes. The so other God again, Papa God, now you the rain. Mm -hmm. You know, God is too much. Yeah, he is. Now the rain. Go to my YouTube page, you go to my Instagram, you watch me live. If you love me, if you love what I'm doing, as the first man at 60 years that have hit the world, you join me and promote me. That's it. Whoa! That's beautiful. Thank you so much for being on set with me. I'm so grateful to be with you here. Thank you, <laughs> Thank so, you much. so much. Yeah. Thank